Hello and welcome to this video about the Moon and the Venus and Venus in Aquarius. What is it all about when you've got your Moon or when you've got Venus in this exciting uh, sign of Aquarius? What does it mean? And the intention of these videos that I'm making, Moon and Venus in the sign, the intention is simply to understand the sign better. And whether you have your moon in Aquarius or your Venus or when you are, whether you're living with someone with a moon or with Venus in Aquarius. So it's just to understand it a little bit more. So, um, and what is the difference between moon and the Venus? Well, that's very simple. Venus is, is, is about what we like and what we attra will attract in our life. So when we've got Venus in Aquarius, we attract Aquarius-like people because it's in, in us. Um, we are a, a bit Aquarius too, when you've got Venus in uh, Aquarius, or the Moon in Aquarius is, uh, no sorry, Venus is a, in Aquarius is also about what we like, you know, the, the type of things that we like in clothing, in, um, in landscapes, in furniture and so on. What do we like? What are the values? What, what do we value very highly and what don't? what is not so important in our lives. So that's all about Venus. About the moon. The moon are our, are our emotions and the moon is how we react. Will we react in a fixed way? Will we react in a spontaneous way? Will we react very slowly? And so on. That is all about our moon, our inner emotions and the way that we react on situations, on people, on crises and so on. So let's get started with the Venus in Aquarius. Now, what is it all about? Well, Venus is in, in Aquarius and actually also the moon in Aquarius gives some or adds to the unpredictability uh, of that particular person. So Venus in Aquarius likes people who are a bit unusual because they are a bit unusual themselves. And what do I mean by that? I mean that it's not mainstream. So it's not the kind of people then that do things and that like things that are very much um, traditional or conservative or, or, or that, that are normal in, um, uh, in, in the minds of most people. So um, with Venus in Aquarius, these people will always be a bit avant la lettre, avant la lettre, which means that they will be a bit um, uh, knowing things already and be their times ahead. I think that's the expression. They will be um, already knowing the new, maybe in, in, in fashion, they will know already uh, when you've got your Venus in Aquarius, what will be fashionable uh, within a year or two so they are very much uh, they know what the trends are going to be uh, but not only in fashion can be in, a, in other things so they are very much uh, avant la lettre and um, they are very original so they have visions and they are very original and they also like people who who are original and who, who have those visions. And sometimes they will really have in their lives stand up for uh, their own vision that is contradictory to a lot of other people. But notwithstanding that, they are quite social. Actually, in fact, they're very social. And friendship is um, very important for Venus in Aquarius. It's a bit like Venus in the 11th house. It's the house of, and it's the sign of friendship it's the sign of aligning with like-minded people so also in love for a Venus in um, Aquarius it's very important when they are in love that this person is also some kind of a friend so um, who has the same ideas and the same value system and you know who is very much aligned with them that's very important for them they value that so um, they also um, need and understand uh, the space that is needed in a, really, in, a role, in a relationship. They need the freedom in their relationship. They need to know that they can do things for themselves. They need to know that 
there is uh, this possibility of doing things on their own. They really need that. Uh, otherwise, they feel very easily suffocated in a relationship. So they are absolutely not the, the not boring. On the contrary, they are very fresh, original and exciting. And a little provocative every now and then. Why not? And um, they are not so much, unless they have a strong Saturn or something, or a Saturn on their Venus, but uh, normally they don't really like the traditional way of life. So the nine to five job and, you know, a house, first a house, then the marriage, then the child. They really don't need all of that, um, that traditional values. They, they can uh, understand that, um, you know, life can be first a baby and then the marriage and then or, or traveling or, or whatever. So they are very progressive in their thinking. So that is um, what Venus in Aquarius is all about. It's, uh, um, it's, very, uh, it's very interesting and it's very exciting. It's very exciting to have Venus in Aquarius because you, and if you have friends who have Venus in Aquarius, it's, they're always uh, there to bring new ideas, to bring fresh thoughts, to, to, um, to see things the other way. And that's where they're good at. Now, as far as Moon in Aquarius is, in, is concerned, how is that um, a Moon in Aquarius? Well, first of all, it's a fixed sign. So people with Moon in Aquarius, they are not going to change their emotions uh, very very uh, easily so that's one thing um, but these this moon the need that I have they're very much very strong uh, connected to their aspirations so to their wishes to that and sometimes it not it, it might be a bit um, how would I say above the normal but uh, above you know they have higher values and are I would say they have higher thinking and sometimes uh, life is just uh, a bit too boring for them, maybe. And that's why they have this um, restlessness. So restlessness is often involved when, when you've got some planets, uh, when you've got some planet, planet, planets in, um, in Aquarius, because it's this constant search for new stuff. And there's this desire for in the, of independence. And, um, they really think that it's an air sign, Aquarius, and they really th think that they have to stand above their emotions. And that's why they sometimes can feel very detached um, because they feel, okay, you know, emotions, that's one thing, but I want to master them. And, uh, you know, that's maybe the Saturn, the classical or traditional uh, rulership of Aquarius is Saturn. So there is Uranus in the modern astrology but there's also Saturn, so this um, trying to master the emotions. Um, so um, it's very, uh, although it's very sociable, they're very sociable people, but every now and then they try to analyze their emotions, they try to understand it, and um, they can be detached of actually one's own emotions. They can understand other people's emotions very well, but they can be very detached when it comes to their own emotions and feel uh, restless about that. So there's an unpredictability. So sometimes they, they, um, it's very difficult for people, especially with the moon in Aquarius, to pinpoint them, to say they're going to react like that or like that. It's very difficult to do that because it's... Um, that's just the way it is. They feel different, mostly. Um, they uh, are not, they are quite a bit unusual or they can, uh, or the, the expression of their emotions can be unusual because that really is reflecting the sign of Aquarius, doing things a bit differently. And um, uh, objective, but also, Yes, they can, be, they can be very objective towards other people's emotions, but not to their own. I already said that. 
um, but it's not a sign to you know it's not mainstream it's absolutely not mainstream and there are they have to be or most I think people with moon uh, or even a Venus in Aquarius they are most aware of it that they're not just the ordinary uh, uh, people you know the girl next door or they always they always react a little bit different and that's on the one hand are you living with someone with Aquarius you probably have affinity with that because you have picked those people out because you also want uh, the unpredictability of life and the, the that life isn't a boring uh, path to take and um, so it's not boring at all but at times it can be of course difficult when you're living with someone and you don't always know how if they're going to take the left part or the right so yes but that's just in its nature of Aquarius so I hope this has uh, um, opened a little bit of understanding of this moon and Venus in Aquarius. Wish you all the best if you've got your moon in Aquarius or Venus in Aquarius. And see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.